I'll just quickly do a run through of how I started YouTube. Yeah, okay, sure. Then I'll get to. So I was at uni. I'd always, for the last like two years before that, I'd help JJ film just mm. a couple bits, not much. You know, he was filming like Q and A's and he'd be like, I need someone to hold a camera. Can you do it? Yeah. So I'd do that. I live near him. Uh, and then I went to uni. You and- beast as well, right? This was after that. Ah. So I went to uni and before uni and while I was at uni, JJ had a couple of sick experiences like going to Manchester to play FIFA with Rio Ferdinand. Oh, man. At that point, I was like, this is the maddest thing ever. Yeah, like, yeah. This is huge. I think even Sweaty Goals, you know, I think you were still at uni at that point. Or yeah. you just left. You were, you were like, I'm leaving or I'm quitting or I've just quit. I would have just quit, I think. I think Do you know yeah. when it was released? Nah. But yeah, I can't remember. I think, I think it, was, no, it was Christmas. Released. Yeah, it was Christmas 20... I would have 12? literally just, like, I would have been quitting. It would have been December 2012. Yeah. That's when I quit. Okay, yeah. And that's when I posted my first video. Okay. So, uh, I was helping JJ film. I'd had a couple of sick experiences. I went to uni and it was like, I was at the wrong uni. I was doing the wrong course. The people I was with were all really nice. Yeah. But I didn't get that uni experience. It wasn't like, I barely had freshers kind of thing. Yeah. It just, I wasn't enjoying it. So, I kind of decided, okay, I'm going to drop out and... I can go somewhere else. Dropped out, started helping JJ a lot more. Yeah. Because I live near. And then my mum was like, okay, you have to look for a job. So I started looking for jobs. But then JJ was like, oh, I want to start a clothing line. I was like, I had done some work in a packing warehouse before. So I knew the rough ins and outs. Yeah. Then set up Beast with JJ um, and ran that for like, well, the entirety of it kind of thing. I see. But the mainly the start. Yeah, I never knew you did that for that long as well. Because you know now I, I used to help Sidemen yeah. pick and packing like Christmas busy periods. And then you always like all that or you were getting ready for a giveaway or something, and I was like, yo, do you want me to help you sort that box? And you were like, nah, I did beasts for like a year. I'm like, oh yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I I literally was doing so I ran it out of JJ's and then it got moved to my house. So I had every single bit of beast in my front room at the house. Mad. So we had no room. Like my mom was starting to get pissed, but while I was doing beast. I had the evenings, obviously. Like, I was working yeah, at yeah. home, so yeah. I could kind of go... I'm, I'm one of those people that I like jobs where once it's done, it's done. It's not a continuous thing. Yeah. So, like, a, a nine to five where it's like... The ni- a nine to five scares me because I know if I turn up at nine, I'm not finished till five. I could work... Because I would rather do Beast and say I had a thousand orders. Yeah. I would do a 20-hour shift. and have the next, and... Yeah, and then yeah, I'd be yeah. like, I have no orders. I'm good. Yeah. So I did all of that. Uh, and then I, I'd you know spend the next day and be like, oh, I may as well do YouTube. 